everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Keppel. Today's video is technically a haul video, and I'm not a huge fan of straight up haul videos because I like to see how products work in action. But I have three tips and tricks for you to get lots of traveler's notebook supplies for less money. Let's dive right in for three tips and tricks to get lots of traveler's notebook supplies for less money. My first tip is that you don't have to subscribe to a kit. I love Studio Calico kits, but I'm not a subscriber because I don't have that much money every single month to budget for their kit. However, if you don't mind buying past kits or kits that are slightly out of date, then you can get them for a lot cheaper than you could if you were a subscriber. So I'm gonna show you all of the kits and additional items that I purchased all at one time with the sale. And I'm gonna talk about some pros and cons of shopping this way. One of the cons of shopping this way is that you may see a kit that you really, really love and it may sell out. And that happens at all the places that I purchase old kits from. There will be times where I'll see something and because I'm not a subscriber, I will miss out. Now, whether or not that is enough for you to wanna to subscribe is 100% personal, it's up to you. Personally, for me, there's always going to be something new and exciting that I'm going to love. So unless it keeps happening over and over again, that doesn't make me want necessarily to subscribe. It just means that sometimes I have to buy things a little bit sooner than later. But I like to buy my Traveler's Notebook supplies from lots of different companies. Today, I'm just showing you my Studio Calco haul, and that kit right there was from April 2018 but look at how cute it is it really doesn't matter how old the kit is as long as you like the materials inside this is actually a planner kit but you can see that you can cut down those planner pattern pages or six by eight planner pages to the four by eight for the traveler's notebooks my second tip is to wait for a sale or a coupon sometimes you need some supplies right then and there and you end up spending a little bit more money than you would have if you waited for that sale. With Studio Calco, they do lots of different sales throughout the year and they often have coupons going on, especially around holidays. I got all of these supplies for their Mother's Day sale. Sometimes I am definitely one of those people who likes the newest thing as soon as it comes out, but with kits, if you can just hold off for a little bit, you can definitely get them later in the year and you can get them at a great deal. Another reason I love the Studio Calico kits is they come in these reusable bags. They are absolutely great for holding kit supplies, and I love the notebooks that they design for their kits as well. This was actually a newer kit, so it wasn't brand new. It was maybe a month or two months old, and I paid the most for this one. So I think their brand new kits are something like $35 for Traveler's Notebook kits. I think I paid $25 for this one. All the other ones were a lot cheaper. They were $15, some were even $5 for the kit. And But I just really loved that notebook and I really wanted it. So I was willing to pay a little bit more. So, you know, kind of go back and forth on what's important to you, what you're really looking to re-up in your stash, whether it's washi or a notebook or whatever else. Okay, so now you're not a subscriber, you're waiting for that sale or that coupon or both. And now once all the stars are aligned, stock up. So once I have found a great sale and a great coupon, I take that opportunity to buy several kits at a time. This way I have a stash of lots of notebooks, embellishments, tags, stickers, all kinds of goodies, and I just organize them all together. I don't use kit by kit. I just put all of my label stickers together, all of my alphabet stickers together, and you can see a video here where I describe how I do that. So take that opportunity to stock up, get everything that you need, and then it'll be a while again before you're needing to re-up your supplies. And by that time, there'll be another coupon or another sale. One of the great things about shopping with a coupon and not needing the latest and greatest is that you're not tied to one company. So with a subscription, they can get pretty pricey. And when other companies have sales, you might feel like you should not 
buy them because you've already spent your budget on paper crafting. When you shop this way with the sales and the coupons and always buying past kits, you really have the opportunity to buy from lots of different companies. And I like to mix and match my companies when I am scrapbooking inside Traveler's Notebooks because there are lots of companies that are making really awesome supplies that I love. And I'll link to a video here where I used Ellie's Studio, some Studio Calico, some Kelly Perky designs. So I really like to mix and match, and you can even include some of your scrapbooking papers. American Crafts has some great stuff that you can add in, but what you're looking for are these types of supplies. You're looking for stickers, you're looking for labels, you're looking for washi, some great pens Studio Calico has in their set, tiny little alphas that can be used on a smaller size like the Traveler's Notebook. That's what I'm looking for when I'm shopping some of these other companies that don't necessarily have a designated Traveler's Notebook kit. So, and the other thing that, like I said, you can do is you can buy planners kits. I know Studio Calico has a bunch of planners kits. They have six by eight album kits sometimes. These cards are from that and they fit perfectly inside a traveler's notebook because they're three by four and four by six. You can do them vertically. So by stocking up at one time, you really get a lot added to your stash of stickers, notebooks, washi, die cuts, and all the things that you'll use in your traveler's notebooks. Don't forget to tell me down below if you like traditional haul videos or if you prefer the reviews of new products. So if you prefer those new product videos where I show you exactly how they can be used in your paper crafting, I'm gonna have that playlist over here for you to check out. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell so you can be notified when any of my new videos are available. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Let's dive right in to get... <laughs> let's dive right in to get... So let's dive right in for three tips and tricks 